so I was asked to refinish this little side table that had been made by a customer's father. Not a bad piece, but it looks like it's been sanded and refinished recently, and from what I can see, all of the old finish wasn't removed fully. The only request really was clear and shiny. A soldering iron adds a little bit of heat which makes these screws a little bit easier to come out of the wood. This piece is what I'd call a bitzer, as in it's made of bits of wood that have been lying around. So it's got a few different types in here, each with their own characteristics that need to be considered. Marking out your pieces now will make sure that you put everything back in the right order later on. It takes a little bit more elbow grease, but using a scraper early on can remove a lot of the material, meaning that there's less sanding to do later. It looks and feels smooth, but you can see that there is varnish and stain stuck in all these lower sections and pores. I planned a bare minimum to just take these off. Luckily the top is quite thick and not very affected. The surface is sprayed with some isopropyl alcohol to make sure I can see any little defects before I start putting any sealer on. They stand out a little bit better on a wet surface, but I don't want to wait forever for it to dry. The sanding sealer is like a thick paint, and it'll help to fill all those pores, and then the excess will be sanded off. The second coat is lightly rubbed on just as a bit of a touch up. Next comes the long process of wiping on layers upon layers of wipe on polyurethane. It's time consuming, but overall once a few layers are on it gives a great finish. One thing of note, don't go back over areas, leave them till it's fully dried, give it a rub back and then touch them up again. I'm sure this will be refinished again in the future, so I add a little bit of wax to all the screws just to make them a bit easier to come out next time. For that final shine, I get a bit of polishing compound. 
rub it into the surface, let it dry a little bit, give it a buff and then wipe the rest off. I wasn't happy with these sections, so I cleaned them up with a standing knife and touched them up with a little bit of wax and you can barely see them. Thanks for watching and I hope you've learned something new. Let me know if you would have done anything different in the comments below and we'll catch you next time.